Hi, welcome to Natural Disasters CCTV. Dear friends, today we will talk about Hong Kong. Hong Kong and Southern Chinese citizens are battling wide separate flooding as it regions indoors some of its heaviest rainfall on record. On Friday, streets and subway stations were underwater in Hong Kong as officials shut schools and workplaces. The Weather Bureau said the downpour which began on Thursday is the biggest to hit the city is nearly 140 years. Authorities have had to conduct several rescues while pictures showed locals wading through flooded streets. On Friday, Hong Kong authorities said at least 83 people had been taken to hospital in the past 24 hours due to wild weather. The rain has also triggered landslides blocking some roads. Weather authorities issued a black rainstorm signal on Thursday night, a warning triggered by rainfall exceeding 70 mm an hour. The Hong Kong Observatory later reported an hourly rainfall of 158.1 mm, the highest since records began in 1884. Videos on social media showed rain courses through the city turning streets into ragging rivers and people climbing onto cars and other elevated platforms to escape the waters. Heavy rain also drenched southern China with the city of Shenzhen across the border from Hong Kong reporting its biggest rain since records began in 1952. Hundreds of lights have been suspended in the wider Guangdong province, while local authorities warned of flash floods and advised residents in low-lying areas to consider evacuations. Ten of millions of people live in the densely populated coastal areas of southern China. In Hong Kong, the city's Cross Harbor Tunnel in key route connecting the main islands to the Kowloon Peninsula in its north was also inundated. More than 200 mm of rain was recorded on Hong Kong islands. On Friday, Shenzhen was reportedly preparing to discharge water from its reservoirs which Hong Kong officials warned could lead to flooding in parts of northern Hong Kong. China's Meteorological Administration expects extreme rainfall to continue in the country's southwestern regions on Friday and Saturday.
The latest downpour comes less than a week after two typhoons, Sola and Haikoi, hit southern China in quick season and sparked a citywide shutdown in Hong Kong. Climate change has increased the intensity and frequency of tropical storm leading to an increase in flash flooding and greater damage. Many roads turns into river and many cars submerged in the water. Many houses were collapsed badly due to heavy floods in Hong Kong. Many peoples were badly and very scared. Now we will talk about Chile Week. A powerful 6.2 magnitude earthquake shakes northern Chile. Chile's International Emergency Office did not report any damage or injuries. A magnitude 6.2 earthquake shocked northern Chile on Wednesday, but there were no immediate reports of damage or injuries. The U.S. Geological Survey said the earthquake was registered at 2048 local time and its epicenter was 41 kilometers. Epicenter was 41 kilometers south southwest of Cucambo, Chile. Now we will talk about Las Vegas, the city of USA heavy flood. First moving thunderstorms swept across the valley on Friday. Causing flash flooding along parts of the Las Vegas Strip as the region braced for more rain into Saturday. The National Weather Service reported that 1.14 inches of rain fell on Friday in Boulder City. About 26 miles southeast of Las Vegas, just over an inch of rain fell near in Interstate 15 at Charleston Boulevard. Heavy flooding about 10 miles north of the center of the Las Vegas Strip resulted in at least one driver being rescued from a car and other abandoning their vehicles below our passes. This is the latest information about flood, earthquake and uh, daily natural disasters. So please uh, like our video and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon because I will provide you latest and accurate information in this uh, my channel on a natural disaster or CCTV. Thanks a lot.